Beer Seekers, I'm Nick. This is the type of video that you guys wanted us to do, and you guys love these vloggy style of videos. I was like, hey, you know what? I want to share this with you guys. But before we get into what this video is about, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Ring that bell because we upload basically every single day. Get yourself subscribed to see more DIY videos like this. Now, this video isn't specifically about tech. Well, it's actually kind of not about tech at all, but it is a cool little video that you can use to implement something if you've got your own filming space or you want to hide some stuff, right? So that, that's kind of the whole point of what we're doing here today. This is a, a video for hiding stuff, but also turning this space into an actual usable filming space. Now, you're probably thinking, how are you going to make this atrocity of like just boards and stuff just go away? Well, I, I hatched this plan a little while ago Someone kind of showed me this a while ago and then I forgot about it. It was about two years ago. And then this morning I was like, oh, I really want to put up like a curtain, but that would introduce things like wrinkling and all this other kind of crap that I just don't have time to think about when we're setting up. So the solution is, check this out, a bunch of blinds. Now these are blackout blinds. They're very cheap. I got them from Bunnings for about 50 bucks each. And what we're gonna do today is, I'm actually gonna mount them to the face. So I'm gonna do one right at the top, a white, well, so it doesn't matter which order I put them in because I can change the colors around. But basically, the idea is gonna have on this tier here and this one here, some pull down blinds to hold everything and they're not reflective surfaces. So they're good for filming, they're matte. So I can use them for talking head stuff or whatever, like I can use them for a backdrop for B-roll. We can just change up the look of the stuff that we film quite a bit. I'm actually super duper keen because this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Because this isn't a wall or like a regular type of setup that you would mount these type of blinds to, I had to come up with a different solution. Obviously, I have thought about this. So what I've done is I've bought some of these metal brackets from Bunnings. They're about 20 cents each or whatever and I've used the curtain mounting system and I'm actually going to screw them into the wooden shelves to hold the curtain for one of the tiers and then the next tier up I'm going to use some bolts so I can go through because it's actually quite difficult to screw things in from the top on the top shelves because you can't get up there but bolts will go through so I'll drill some pilot holes for some bolts and we'll bolt it all up but let's get to installing these and we'll see if they end up doing exactly what I need them to. Now it should work, but as a caveat, when you're doing DIY stuff in your house, be careful, make sure you buy the right tools and make sure you're, you're being safe. Don't necessarily do what I would do when I do something like this. So first of all, I'm going to install the lower tier first, just as a bit of a test. Then I'm going to make up the brackets for the top tier and then we're going to put in the curtains and see how it all looks. So I'm not going to time lapse this because it's probably going to take a little while. So I'll cut to another part when it's just before installing it. How about that? We'll put all the brackets up and stuff off camera and then we'll come back with like magic. It's time. You guys don't have to wait around. You can just see it happen. Because this isn't a wall or like a window frame or whatnot, we had to mount it this way. So I use some of these L-shaped brackets, they're metal brackets. I put a pilot screw in to hold it into place, which is a wood screw, which will hold into the shelf. And then I put a bolt that goes all the way through with a washer on the other end to hold in the bracket. And it's very sturdy. I ended up doing the same thing on the opposite end as well. Now you can see it's all nice and steady and whatnot. We can mount the blind on. I've already mounted it to test it and it does work. So yeah, let's actually get it up there now. What we did is we put the other brackets up uh, I'm just waving because I feel nice to just wave like this, right? It's nice to wave in, into you guys, right? Yep. Hi, Claire. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're putting the white one right at the top, black one the next tier down. And yeah, I offset, like I said, did I say that already? I offset the top one so the top one can go over the top of the bottom one, if that makes sense, right? Anyway, let's do it. You ready, Claire? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> now you're in the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Just, let's see if my Wait, butt. Is this the top one? That's the top one, yeah. I'll just make sure my butt's not locked in. 
clipped in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. And now we'll do the other one. I'll probably put a thing on the thing. Oh, that's coming up. Okay, all good. The sides clipped in. Yep. And oh, hang on. Yeah, clipped in. That's it. That was our fancy idea. Right, you want to show them how it works? No. <laughs> I'll have to move that one all the way back. So. Okay. So now if we want a black backdrop. Oh. Yeah, I, I, we, there's still a few tweaks to make. But if we want a black backdrop. Hit porn. We can literally drop a black backdrop down. It goes, for, it goes further down, but it's okay. Just leave it as it is. So now we have a black backdrop for stuff. Ta-da! Ta-da! And you, you can do the white one too. Oh, that one's much nicer. And then if we want a white backdrop, we also got a white backdrop. Ta-da! How good does that look? There you go. Little DIY hack for your own studio. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> you, don't you do naughty things on there, Claire. But how good is it? That actually is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Now you got to pull it up. After using them for a while, I think they'll be a bit smoother. As you can see, a setup like this is quite easy to do for yourself. The main reason why I installed these blinds is because now we can shoot stuff that looks like this. Giving us the opportunity to shoot a lot more dramatic footage like this. How cool does this look? We couldn't really shoot anything like this before because we just didn't have a backdrop dark enough or we could shoot some stuff that looks more like this. Some really bright stuff that we don't typically shoot here on the channel. But the great thing is now we have options, something that we didn't have before. So I think this is a pretty good project if you want to add additional filming space to your area, if you're making YouTube videos, or if you just want to hide stuff kind of like us. But to be honest, I much prefer it when it looks like this. I prefer the dark and dramatic look much better, but if you guys are interested in doing something like this, I'll put a link to all the stuff from Bunnings that we use to put this together. This is for Australia only, but anywhere around the world, you can really find these type of things at your local hardware store. It was very cheap. Uh, I'll put a total on the screen right now. I think it came to around about 130 Aussie dollars, including all the screws and brackets and everything that we needed to get this to work. About $104 for the blinds themselves. The other reason why we decided to go with curtains like this and not much more expensive ones is if we damage these, they're readily available at our local Bunnings and they're only $52 each if we rack them. So I would much prefer to pay $52 rather than hundreds of dollars for other types of backdrop setups that we could use. And this looks just as good. I really, really like this. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to start shooting some more moody B-roll and that kind of stuff, because that's really what we want to do as well. Oh, and lastly, the other reason why we did this, I didn't even mention this in the video at all, Claire. When we do sponsored stuff with like brands and stuff like that, and we need to hide stuff in the background from competing companies, we can literally just pull down the blinds <laughs> and hide everything. And just kind of spitball in here and just going off what I said, when we did the matrix build, uh, we didn't want to get reflections and stuff on any of the parts from other stuff. And I kind of wish we had this idea then. And like you, you've seen, usually we would just use a big bit of fabric. It's like normal backdrop fabric and we would clip it. It's just a pain in the butt. I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to make it easy. If we need to shoot stuff with TG panels on, it's going to be easier. That's the reason, another reason why we don't use TG panels on all of our builds and photos and stuff is because even if you use a polarizer, it's too reflective. Now, we don't have that problem and it's not really that janky. Anyways, guys, if you like this video and you like the music and you like all that stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and hit that like button to let us know that you like this type of content. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And wow, I, I was halfway through a sentence and I was just like, oh, if you like the music, hit the join button if you guys want the music. And 
Anyway, that was a bit of a random rant thing. I'm out of here. Catch you guys later. Watch these videos up here, right? A couple of those ones will be good for you to watch. And there's a subscribe thing here as well. So click that if you want. There's a couple things up there, you know. Check out Kernel Control somewhere up there too. It'll have some videos you can watch about our Linux content. 